We'll talk to you in a bit. Also, we want to turn to Washington County now. This is where leaders are talking about a jail expansion tonight. So the proposal on the table calls for a one-fourth of one cent sales tax increase. And you see this is to fund a $113.5 million bill for jail improvements. This also to create another $20.5 million for juvenile court improvements. Voters could decide whether to approve this tax come November, but first it has to clear a few hurdles. Let's bring in my co-anchor Brandon Evans. He's joining us live in Washington County tonight. This is where the proposal took one of those steps. Brandon. Yeah, Paige, the big issue at hand here is overcrowding at the Washington County Jail. And tonight, the Finance and Budget Committee got to review how they plan to fix it. That's jail expansion, ultimately a tax increase. And after much discussion, well, they did decide to give the ordinance a due pass recommendation, which means it would move on now to the full quorum court, which is scheduled to meet later this month. However, Tonight's meeting was not without some controversy as things got a little heated during public comments. Tell me about your plan. And you have this blank look on your face. Because they don't have one. Hey, I said order. Take your order. Can you please oh. your seat? Well, um, I'm Ms. just. Gilmore, I apologize for not meeting your expectations, but you have, we have to abide by the rules that we set as a court court. Now, the ordinance calls for a one-fourth of one cent sales tax increase or 0.25% to fund the 113.5 million for jail improvements and the 28.5 million for juvenile court improvements. So to put that into perspective for Washington County residents, if the tax increase is improved, basically for every $50 you spend, you'll pay about 12 to 13 cents more. Paige. Okay, and you know, it seems to be a little bit of urgency surrounding this particular issue. This is uh, night two, two nights in a row, I should say, where different committees have discussed this particular issue. So why do you think that is? Well, Paige, the issue is they want to get it on the November ballot, but there's a very specific process that they have to go through, including three readings from the full quorum court. However, I learned tonight that if they have a supermajority that favors approving that proposal, well, they could do all three readings in one night. Mm -hmm. And so those are the next steps. Now, if this were to make it on the November ballot, Brandon, uh, you can break down a little bit what that cost looks like for county residents. Yeah, Paige, so 12 to 13 cents per $50 purchase might not seem like a lot, but that's not the only tax in Washington County right now. In fact, depending upon what city you live in, it varies from city to city. So. That's the big issue there. What we know, though, is that the tax increase will be the same if approved, no matter where you live in Washington County. We're live in Fayetteville. Brandon Evans, 4029 News. Great information, Brandon. We'll talk to you at 10. Uh, we also want to let you know that the Washington County Quorum Court will take up the jail expansion funding proposal and tax increase when it next reconvenes. That's July 21st at 6 p.m. Uh, we also know that Washington County leaders aren't the only ones looking to increase the size of their jail. In fact, Benton County Justice of the Peace approved the first reading of an ordinance creating a three eighths percent sales tax increase to do just that. Less than two weeks ago this happened on June 30th. So the county's plan to expand the jail includes not just the expansion, but the creation of a new mental health facility. It also addresses other needs that the sheriff's office says would help address overcrowding. The quorum court will meet again this month to discuss the expansion with the final meeting set for August. And if it's approved, then voters would then decide on the plan's ultimate fate on Election Day, November 8th.